Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, I will show you how you can remove the MDM locks permanently. That means after the unlock, you can reset your Mac, you can update to the latest version, and MDM lock will not come again. So, we will see the complete process in this video. So, without further delay, let's start this process. So first you need to download the latest HFZ T2 MDM Remover Tool 1.0.2 This is the latest version at the moment So if in future the new version come You can download it from there All the links are in my description Or go to my blog You will get the direct links there And after the download you can simply install it on your system Next you can run the tool but before that, let's talk about the T2 Intel Mac models. So these are all the models that are supported. All the models have included with the T2 Intel chipset like 2018 to the 2020 MacBook Airs, MacBook Pro models, iMac and Mac Mini. So you can check out all there. And in case if you have the above newer MacBook models with the latest M1, M2, M3 chipset, you can follow this guide. This will help you out. I will give links in the description of this video or watch it from the above eye button but for today's video only the t2 macbooks are supported now after that you will require another additional macbook that is working normal and you can open the hfz tool on that and you need to connect both these mac with c to c cable at the closest port so you can take the type c to c cable and connect both this mac now after that you need to put the locked MDM MacBook into the DFU mode. So there are some specific instructions for that. You can check out on the screen. I have made some screenshot in that you can see the DFU instruction as per your MacBook model. Or you can google the T2 MacBook DFU instruction. You will find the official Apple website or other third party website that will help you out. So let me just put my MacBook into the DFU mode. And another thing, before you're doing all this process, make sure you completely wipe up your MacBook or completely restore your MacBook and erase your SSD and install the fresh OS from the recovery mode and then you can proceed or you can use the Apple Configurator 2 to completely restore your Mac and then you can easily follow this process. And sometimes it will take more attempts to put your MacBook into the DFU mode. So keep trying it until you get succeed. And DFU mode success will not prompt anything on your Mac, but it will show you on your HFZ tool that the MacBook is in the DFU mode and you will see the ECID and the model number. Or you can open the Apple Configurator or iTunes and you will see there your MacBook will be in the DFU mode and it will ask you to restore or update Mac. So these are some signs you can check out for the DFU mode. Now next you need to register this ECID in the tool server. So for that, just copy the ECID that is showing on the HFZ tool and you need to send me the ECID plus your model number for the instant registration. You can send me the ECID on my telegram, links are in description and for the prices you can contact me there. Now once your ECID is registered in the server, you can instantly use the tool. These are some summary steps for the process, you can follow it or you can continue the video for the complete detailed process. Now everything is set, now click on the start booting option and it will do some processing and doing some exploit work. So just wait patiently for the process.
Now after the booting process is done, you need to save your flash dump file. You can save it in your system location. This file is very important. It contains your device model number, serial number and other soft NAND data including the complete sysconfig file. If in case in future if you want to roll back or restore completely with your original file, you can use that for the same. So I will just save it in my system. Now next you will see the new serial box will appear on the tool that contains your original Mac serial. So just copy it and save it on your system. This is also for the future purposes if you want to roll back the process. Now next you need to change the serial of the MacBook. So for that you can use any dummy serial that I've mentioned on the screen. You can use any one of them or you can write your own serial number but make sure that if you write your own custom serial it must be in the 12 digit format you can check out on the screen for example and also the serial you will choose it must not valid in the apple server or the serial already fma off or mdm free or you can use any of the serial that i'm showing on the screen that's the best it will work for all after you edit the serial number just click on the save and flash to device and then you will see the success message of the hfz tool that means the work is done now you can close the hfz tool and you can also unplug the cable and now just turn on your macbook Alright now the Mac is booted up and now you can select the region and continue. Now here you will see that your MacBook is completely activated. Now simply click on the reboot and enjoy your MacBook. And also if you have some issues or you want to install the fresh OS again, you can. Just go to the recovery mode by pressing command plus R or option command plus R. And then go to the disk utility and new recovery mode and then erase the ssd and install the fresh copy of os so now you can see i'm already on the latest sonama version so i will ignore the recovery mode and install os part so i will just set up the mac now So guys here we are on the macbook home screen and you can see that we are on the latest macOS Sonoma 14.3 version and you can update your mac to the latest one or you can erase it or you can do anything with this mac now the mdm lock is completely removed and it's a hundred percent unlocked so mdm will not come again so it's the best way to rid off if you have the similar issue on your t2 macbooks so that's all for today's session 
I've explained you each and everything in this video so if you have any similar issue like this you don't have to watch any other videos this video is enough for you for the complete process and removal so I hope you gain some knowledge and enjoying my content if yes please hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates like this I will see you in another one so till then goodbye take care and peace out.